Hi guys, welcome back to the shack. It's great to have you all here. I am still caught up in my um, slow stitch craze. <laughs> First I painted it just with some watercolours and um, just tried to stick with the earthy tones and s did some few splatters and paint and um, yeah they're just this bit of fabric here um, it's it's put together like a um, <laughs> cluster it's a cluster it's a big cluster I'm a cluster um, all right, it's put together like a big cluster. Just held it all these bits together and sewed the button on. That's what's holding it all together. But then I also did some stitching on the top up there. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. I went stroke, diamond, stroke, diamond. Very technical stitching. So this was a, just a piece of this fabric that I really love. It's really sheer. Um, I don't know what sort of material it is whether it's just a cotton or what it is but anyway so I tore some of that out and I dabbed some had some paint left on the brushes from doing this so just scrunged around the edges and then used the ink um, pad did some inking on there and that kind of grunged it up and just frayed the edges with my fingers there's another bit of fabric from an old shirt this piece here is this, I've got a ball of this stuff and when you pull it apart, it's like this, it's netting, it's really super cool. So that's that bit. Then some wool and this white thread here and the button. So there we go, that's that one. And then I was in the mood for clusters. so. This one, more earthy tones. Um, this one. So they might even just, I might even just put them on, stitch them onto that side. Anyone there yet? No. So yeah, I might stitch them on there. There's a, a um, little bow just from gathering up all the leftover threads maybe that can go on there too somehow I don't know nope I like this with a bit of space around it so I haven't got anything on this other side yet so I think I'll just stitch them on and see what becomes of the rest of the page and I've also oh, I was in the grungy fabric mode put sewed these um ruffles with that material that I just showed you that really um sheer material it's like an off-white color that's just a bit of brown fabric I had that one this is on a bit of ribbon dark blue ribbon another one longer one these are good for um, in your journals down the side of the page or whatever whatever you want it's a big long one see how long it is and it's on a, a lilac ribbon so they were a bit of fun not sure where they're going yet. I might add one to to a page. Maybe like that. That might be a thing. Just let them sit there for a minute. Have some tea. Cheers. Okay, so today while I was out running errands all over the place, I had to take my husband to the hospital for an appointment. He's 
got to have a have back surgery in a couple of weeks so that's not good but um all will be successful and everything will be okay so that's will be good for him to have done because he's in a lot of pain and this will fix that he's got to have a, a disc removed and a new one put in i like those bits together um, so that was that and then I called into my sister and she's having a bit of a hard time at the moment and then I went over to my um, father-in-law's who's just got out of hospital so there's been a lot going on and then I went to the shops and picked up um, some stuff for my daughter who's just had the baby this is another thing I found this is just a bandage um, and it's going to be used now in slow stitching like I can I'll you know fray up the edges but it's a good background color for these um for doing a nature cluster or you know natural sort of colors to throw a bit of that on there cut that more better more better up than that but you know <laughs> I just I like it with these colors so so yeah, if you've got a, a um, bag of bandages, uh, you've got bandages in that you're never going to use. Although, you know, maybe as soon as you do something with it, you're going to need it. And then someone's going to have to get wrapped up with a row of clusters on them or something. <laughs> Who knows? But bandages. It's all fabric. What was I looking for? Does anyone know what I was going to do? Oh, that's what I was, I was out and about with all that stuff. And, of course, I drove past a little church op shop. So I called it. And the church op shops are so much cheaper than, like, some Vincent de Paul's and um, Lifeline, wonderful organisations, but their op shops can be very expensive. <laughs> They're usually more expensive than Kmart. And, um, you know, sometimes you find a bargain, but they, they can be expensive. Anyway, the little op shops that are with the churches, I find are much more, um, much more reasonable with their prices. Like this bag here, it's full of fabric. And that was, um, well, everything I got was $7.00. And I've got this big bag of fabric stuff. This, um, I have to move this. Billy! Stick them on later. Stick them on later. Oh, one fell out. I don't know if you can see this. It's heavy because it's got books in it. <laughs> but it's, see this? Cane. It's it's the cane's wrapped around a steel frame, so it's 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 quite solid. And um, I'll be able to store papers and books and things in it, things on the go. Anyway, and I picked up these books. So, this one, it's a good hardcover. I already have one of these, so um, it will be. And I, it's I haven't wanted to alter it, so I'll alter this one. A nice nice inside cover same on the back yep so they'll stay and um, I might gut it and um, make a journal out of it we'll see uh, this photo frame it's just pretty and this big book I've been wanting to get a big book to do like a big spell journal or something like that look at that look how big it is can you tell anyway that's the that's that thing Ta -da. which way does this go it says hard cover look how thick it is it's going to be big spell book it's a um a dictionary encyclopedia Encyclopedic World Dictionary. I like the cover. And um, 
fills with pages. Look at these pages. Look at that bird. You see it? So these pages. There's a little deer and a duck. These pages will be good to use in um, journaling. But, and also to make this spell book. I don't know how I'm going to do it yet. Um, I think I'll do a bit of taking pages out and leaving pages in, gluing pages together. And make a big spell book. Something like that. So anyway, I got those three things. That letter, that cane book holder. And this bag of fabric and things, bits and bobs, for um, $7. So I thought that was pretty good. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. I love purple. I'm not even sure what this is. Let's have a look. Whether it's a scarf. Yeah, it's a big scarf. Big meter square piece of beautiful fabric. I love it. So that will be come something. Still we get. Oh, this look how delicate and old this story is. So delicate. Isn't that beautiful? And this light pink one. be good for journals and a yellow one and this kind of green one really sort of pale pale green um I'd probably cut this apart and use it in the stitching This is, oh, here's another bit of fabric. I like it. It's nice. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, it's, it's got a ring up here. Is it? I think it's a paper, uh, meant to be a bag holder. It's got the bottom stitched up. It's got a slit somewhere. Let's see. What are you? I can't see a slit. I thought it was a um a bag holder. But there's no opening. Anyway, I just like the fabric. Look at this. It's big cross stitch or long stitch or whatever stitch you call it. But someone has started. They've done all the they were just had the cabin to go. Look, just this wheel and the cabin to go. Should I finish it? Because I do like cottages. I do like a little... Can you see that? I do like little shacks. When I saw it, I thought I'd just get, cut it up for this material. But now that I can see how much they've done and that it is in good condition, I might finish that. And it just looks like wool. It doesn't look like embroidery floss. It looks a bit thicker like wool. Oh, here's their starter chimney with this grey. See the chimney started there? I'm going to finish that. If it was a picture I didn't like, I wouldn't worry, but because I love it that way. And I can hang it up in here, hang it up at the shack. Hang a shack up at the shack. And then once I frame it somehow, I might even just hang it from a log. I might be able to cut off some of this and then I'll still have some of this nice um, material to use for slow stitching. Oh, this little teddy that someone has made. What are we doing here? How's our so much isn't there oh some more of these these are really good these are um 
serviettes, like material fabric napkins. Uh, they're really good to either fold in half to make a journal out of, which I did start one, I showed you yesterday. Oops, what was that? A cluster. Come back next time. That's the one I showed you yesterday, remember? So yeah, we can fold them in half and make a journal cover or just make a piece. Whatever. This stuff is curtain hardware, but look at it, look how cool it is. Um, it can be just trim on a, on a page or the base of a, um, a snippet roll. So that's cool. And then there's another roll of it, it's wider. Quite a snippet roll. I'm definitely going back to this option, but not for a while because I get enough stuff. Here's some nice green fabric. I like that. The colours in that. And what do we got down the bottom? A bit of ribbon and an old tape measure. There we go. That was so much fun. So there you go. Now I put it all away. I really need to have a a clean up of all these fabrics and things. They're kind of, you know, kind of not too bad. I did have a bit of a clean up before I started the ballet journals, and have got all the fabric in a big basket. What used to be my children's um, bassinet, big cane basket. That's got the fabric in, um, so, and it's working really well. But what I, from do, pulling all the ribbons and laces out for, to do the ballet journals, that's got a bit, um, a bit skew whiffed. So I need to sort out all that, all the ribbons and laces. But they were lots of good lines. So that's that's the trick guys go to op shops that are at churches and places like that the big name op shops the Winnie's and the lifeline and what have you here in Australia anyway they are just a bit expensive at times look at those three faded colors together and we can put this one in there too and go to here oh, like a um, yum 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 all right, well, how long have I been recording for? 18 minutes. Let's do, let's stitch those things up. And then we need this beautiful fabric too. Oh, I love it. I'm here on top. Now I have to pick that bag up before the dog finds it. Okay. All right, where were we? Over here. Go. What are you guys up to? Let me know in the comments. Have you got your slow stitching out or are you doing something else? Just chilling out. That kind of looks like a bird or a fish there. A bit of a ruffle on the side like that. How does that look? Sometimes I look at the camera to get a better idea of how it looks. Yeah, I don't mind that. I don't mind it. Okay. We can go in that bag. Here is, oh, I meant to call into Spotlight while I was out. I need to get more needles, bigger kind of needles. There's, I've got one big one. Can you see how bent that is? 
<laughs> he's so bent so I need to get some more big needles and then I'll just I thought I had one at least I can't find any now oh here's one this is the one needle I'm down to for this kind of thing so I really need to get to spotlight and um get some um some more <laughs> Sorry. okay what color thread do we want a brownie thread a dark thread or a light thread let's go dark i like this one I've got this baby thread here that was in a, a stitch kit that from my last off shop visit that I'm not going to be doing but the fabrics that was in there I mean those threads are fantastic I love all the all the colors and the material that was in there for the um the base of it oh I thought I had it close by Nope. Anyway, that was good too. So yeah, if you see these cross stitch, slow stitch kits, long stitch, cross stitch, whatever stitch they are, stitch kits in op shops, um, and they're cheap, just grab them for the for the um, material, the thread and the material. Helps if you put a knot in the bottom of the thread. <laughs> Why am I sewing on camera? I'm pretty sure I said I'd never do it. I'd never put you all through it. But I have found with my crafting now, I've either got to be talking to you guys or watching you guys. Because um, it's I've gotten so used to it. It's so lonely to do it without you now. scrunch that up a bit I think we will make it look like a bit of a, a nose or a beak if it's a bird Talking about birds, the crows have got a lot to say at the moment. Okay, well, I'll just get a bit more stitching done and then I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. It's the next day. Um, I don't know what happened. Oh, I need to turn this light on. Life, life got in the way. <laughs> okay, so I finished. Um, stitching these parts on over here is that light okay where's my um thing i had under here that kind of gave us a um plain background once again i just turned the camera on <laughs> okay here we go so stitch these on we had a look at that yesterday did I stitch them on the right way up? Yes, that's good. Okay, so there they are, stitched on. I added this bit to up here on this one. Just had this little bit of, um, oh, and I stuck a feather in there. I don't know if that was there yesterday or not, but it looked like a bird and that this feather was laying around on my desk. So it just slid in there. This bit of uh, twine with the, leaf trim around it popped that up there sewed this on and i couldn't help myself i thought it looked like a door so it's sort of little chicken in there 
I've got a thing with doors and houses, I know, so I just can't get away from them. So there we go. Chip, chip. Okay, then I did start on another one. Where are you? Over here. Been couching in. Couching, from what I gather, I think it's a, a term I learnt from Lizzie Brewer, who does amazing um, slow stitches and all sorts of fun stitching projects. And I don't know if this is if I'm actually doing couching or not, but I'm just going over it over the wall and um, doing the stitches that way. To put this, it's this stuff, this wool, look at that, isn't it gorgeous, look at those colours, to put this wool on here because I had done this little owl with Linda at Linda's Mixed Up Mess. She showed us, I think Deanie from Hot Threads, um, gave her the showed her a pattern for the owl and then she did one and then i did one and so this is where this little guy's gonna live it's gonna live there and i tried to trying to make this look like branches of a tree and he can live in there and then i've got this bit of wool with bits sticking all over it and i'm just gonna go around like that And stitch that up there somewhere I don't know one last time I put it on it kind of looked like the moon I don't know now anyway pop that up there okay so that's that's the plan Stan so I'm just putting on couching on this last bit of um, wool that is the branches. It's so peaceful here today. It's Saturday morning now and it's um lovely sunny day with a light breeze blowing it's actually a bit cooler which is nice feels like there might be a little bit of autumn in the air i wish it could just i'm fine with autumn autumn is lovely winter not so much no because i'm not one of these people that's bothered by summer i actually love summer i can always get cool I can't always get warm. <laughs> I know a lot of people are the other way around, but um, I love the heat because I love swimming. So, you know, I love going to the beach. Actually, I love going to the beach in winter because um, we don't we have very mild winters and there's less people around. I love going away in the caravan in winter. But I still like it better when it's summer. Okay, so that is all on. Let's just tie that off. Beautiful, neat stitching. If there's a way to do things, oh, sorry. <laughs> putting you all to sleep, putting myself to sleep. Um, if there's a way to do things in a shabby way, that's the way I'm gonna do it. I love shabby crafting. Okay, what the color? Uh, I don't know if I wanna stitch around him because he's already got stitching here. Maybe if I just did a couple of stitches around his ears and a little stitch down here, that'll hold him in there. And now he'll still be able to flap his wings at the sides if he wants, because that's important. There's a really light thread. I think it's white. 
Is it? It's either white or really, really light pink. This, the lighting here is not good. Yep. Oh, have we been recording? There we go. Okay, let's get these last things on. Make sure we've only got one page. I did that before I was sewing away and I was a attached to here. <laughs> so I had to unpick that bit. Lucky I hadn't got too far. Okay, little owl. We're just going to go around your ears. Hold you on your branch. I think when I get this page done, I'm going to go on to something else. We've got a, a trip on a train coming up it's what's the train called um the garn the garn going on the garn going on the garn it goes up the um middle of australia we fly to we fly to adelaide south australia and um yeah we go up the middle of australia we get up off in a few places and um, and then we leave the train in Darwin and we're going to have a few days in Darwin. We're going to go out to the Tiwi Islands and do all that and then um, fly back. That's our trip coming up. So that will be great. So yeah, I thought oh, I'm not going to do any more in this. I'm going to... Um, go on to something else and then take this book away with me um, yeah so I'll have it to to play in when we're on the train and on the plane <laughs> trains and planes When my um, husband had ended up needing this back operation, we thought we would be having to um, postpone this trip. Did I talk about this before? See, this is the problem when you start a video one day and then go on with it the next day. You don't know what you've talked about at the start of the video. <laughs> Anyway, he's, he will be fine and um, we'll be right to go. So the surgeon says, well, I've finished that there. I'll do one more little stitch. I think I'll do one more little stitch. So yes, this will be the last one. And until we go on the train ride next month. Because um, I don't want to take a lot of stuff away, you know, craft wise. You want to take something, but um, this will be small. I'll just take this in a bag of threads and that'll be that. making the putting the threads kind of a bit of a diagonal down here so they can maybe look like little little bird feet oh just got myself a beauty look blood can see it <laughs> 
Tissue, tissue, tissue. What did I do with the tissues? Oh, this little scrap of fun. Um... I've got this little cup here that I put rubbish in, so that'll do. All good. Well, that woke me up. Okay, so there's our owl on. He can still fly if he wants to. No, we can't go far, but I'm gonna um, tie this off. And we might have enough here, we'll see. To um, do this little cloud or moon or whatever it's going to be. This little puff of wool. I think about there. Trying to catch it all in there. That's it. Probably would have been better to use a, a mauvey coloured thread for this, but this one will do. It was here. Just try and fit one more thread in. Come on, you can do it. Oh, it's hard when the needle's longer than the bit of thread you got left. <laughs> did we stay threaded? I think we did. We did. Oh, there we go. I could do with a thread through the middle. We do that. I think we're gonna we're gonna need to put any more light thread in this bundle of throwaways. No. So let's see. I had oh, oh there's look at that. Look at that little bit of white thread. Where'd the needle go? Another knot. There we go. Do a double knot. That was a very tiny knot. Okay. We all needed just that one little stitch. 
stitch. That'll do. That'll do. Let's tie these off. Put that needle up there. Still wait, guys. Stay with me. We're nearly done. So I don't know what I'm going to work on next. Might go back into the house. The house book. See if I can do a bit more in there. Maybe do another journal. I don't know. All right. There we go. There goes the little owl. Here he is, sitting on his tree branch. I think because this fabric has this floral design in the background, we don't need to do any more. If this was on a plain piece of material, I could have, you know, probably would have added leaves or something. But um, I think that that's enough. Terrific. So we got that one done and that one done. Very good. And now. Oh, I did the back too. I don't think I'd showed you the back. Oh, I hadn't finished the back. I'd started doing some, um, see these funny stitches down here? These are called shack stitches. I invented them. It's basically, I was trying to do this little kind of leaf stitch and, um, and then I just went crazy. <laughs> it's called shack stitching. Give it a go. To do shack stitching, you just do what you want. That's it. I find that kind of stitching easier because I'm hopeless at following instructions. Absolutely hopeless at it. Oh, this. What's this? Is this a bit of a cheesy? Um, yeah, so... I just make stuff up. love finding these um just random little loose bits of thread to use so you thought you were going but you're not you're going to stay here and do some shack stitching you will learn nothing and you will see that anyone can do stitching <laughs> Absolutely anybody, anybody, everywhere. I think that's a song. It's really time for me to go when I start singing. Okay, that's a really big piece of thread for this little piece we've got left. Anyway, what I've done on the back here, I had this piece of lace that's got some paint on it from just one time when I put paint on lace. And I sewed it around with blue stitching because I like to be able to see the stitches. And I made just left it open, left it a pocket. So I put this little sewn cluster in there. And that's in there. Then I stitched on this bit of trim. You can see the stitches are, I did the stitches as the blue dots inside the red flowers stitched on this piece of trim. Isn't this cool trim? It's got glitter, um, what do you call them, sequins. And then I, this piece of trim was already up here because that was when we did the cover. So that's the back. The back has got stuff going on. Now, without pricking myself, so my 
idea is this is some kind of did I do enough? Yep. Some kind of purple vine going up the ribbon. So when I pull it through, I just do a loop and I hold it down with my finger and I pull this through at the bottom of the loop near where you came out with the thread. Okay, and then you leave the loop there and you go up the top of the loop without pricking yourself. It's a bit involved, isn't it? This is why I just do normal stitch normally, plain stitch. So you come up the top of the loop and then you do a little stitch over the top of it to hold that loop there in that place. And you can use this um, way of stitching to do a flower, like with petals. I'm just going to join them together a bit more. them to come in and then get that under get that under there somewhere there we go so two hours later we have this petal here can you see it so now we'll do another one That's going to go down, back down there where we just came out of. I'm going to hold that up there and come up the top there. Put a little stitch over the top of the loop that we just made. And there we go. There's another one. You seeing it? Very technical stuff. Do you want to stay here while I do this? I'll do one more. Where do I want this one to go from? But I think I'll do a kind of a just a long one because I want a bit of viney. A viney vine going up. Hey, come on now. Don't latch over there. Down there. There we go. Catch you. Oh, come back. Catch you. Oh, not my thumb. Oh, the sewing is dangerous, dangerous stuff. Grabbed. Where'd we get that bit of thread from? <laughs> anyway, that's what we've done so far. I might just leave it at that. That's enough. That's enough shenanigans. It's getting fatter. Fatter, fatter, fatter. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thanks for being here, guys. I'm going to take this away on the train next month and I'll take you guys away on the train with me. We can, you can come on the garn with us and um, I'll show you out the window and show you us jiggering around on the train and I could show you some of the places we go to. And I can, you can stitch along with me when I'm having quiet time on the train. <laughs> okay, guys, that's it. I'm going to go. I'm procrastinating because if I go, it means I've got to clean up a bit. <sighs> Oh well, I guess I get a better, better, better to do it. <laughs> See you guys. Thanks for being here. Take care. Bye.